Welcome to another TCGU video. This is brought to you by the Chariot Group. My name is Bob Jackman. Today we're going to be talking about lesson creation made easy. These are strategies to help you create lessons more easily. We're going to be looking in the gallery under the lesson activity toolkit, specifically at the page templates, and looking at how those can help you really quickly and easily create lessons for your classroom. The lesson activity toolkit is found in the gallery. And in there, you're going to find um, several folders. So we're going to look specifically at two folders today. The first is the examples folder. And in the examples folder, we are going to find exactly that examples of these page templates filled out. So it gives us a chance to look at what is there and how that can help us. Then we're going to come down to the pages folder. And in the pages folder, we are going to find the blank templates that we can use to create our activities for our lessons. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click on the gallery tab. That's this one that looks like a picture frame. We click on that and here you can see the lesson activity toolkit folder. Now if that folder is missing for any reason, if you come up to the wrench, click on that, go to check for updates, and click on Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. Click on that and it will ask you to install the Lesson Activity Toolkit that will download from the internet. So here I've got the Lesson Activity Toolkit. I'm going to click on the folder and that shows me all of the subfolders. So we're going to start by this Examples folder. So we click on the Examples and notice there are several folders here. I would suggest you look through all of them, but for right now we're just going to go to the Pages folder because we want to look at examples of the Pages templates that are there. So now we select that folder, we're going to come down here to the bottom part, and we're going to click this section right here that says Notebook Files and Pages. When we click on that, here are the 13 pages that are here. And you can see these different pages. These are the different templates that are there, but they're filled out. So let's start with the first one, Category Sort. So I double click on that one. That'll insert this page. Now if you're on a widescreen laptop, you may have it where it looks like this, where it's you have to scroll up and down to see all the content. If that's the case, you're going to come up to an icon that looks like this, uh, the view screen. So you're going to click on that, come down here, and choose Entire Page. And that will make sure you can see the entire page, which makes it a lot easier. So here we've got a, the activity already filled out. It says sort the adverbs into categories. We've got four different categories. We've got all these adverbs down here and we can drag these, then the students can drag these up to where they believe that they go. Okay, so really fun interactive activity for the students to do on the smart board or, or on iPads or Chromebooks. Um, there is, most of these have a watch video icon down here on the bottom right. If you click that, it will open you up to a video showing you how to do that. Now it's gonna use the QuickTime player to run, if for whatever reason you can't get it to work or work very well, you can also hit Control S or Command S on a Mac and just save the movie. That'll save it to your computer and then you can just watch the movie from there. So here we are back to this. What the video does is it just shows you a quick video on how to create with these templates. So that can be a helpful resource to you. So let's look at another one. We've got a fill in the blank. I double click on that one. Here we've got spots for obviously for fill in the blank. Simon liked to play pranks on his younger sister. He would blank jump. He would usually jump around. So I'd go through and we'd drag these up to the different blanks. And then when we're done, we have this little fun question mark pull tab. So you see the arrow. So we're going to drag this to its shadow and that's going to show us what the answers are. So we can look and see if we got it correct. Here's another one with just information. So we've got some facts here. This is just a simple information one. Here we've got an instruction one. Uh, this one we actually have spots to drag different labels to label a picture. Ordering, this one can be fun, rearrange these sentences. So probably gonna get out of bed first, shower, then get dressed, then go to school, then eat breakfast. So we can put those so the students then are going to put those into the correct orders. So the fun thing about these, uh, they're all great strategies. They are very interactive. So it's going to give the students a chance to interact with content that's on the board. Uh, and so you can go through each of these different types of templates, look at the example, and start to say, okay, I like this. 
uh, I want to use this strategy and this template. So now that brings us to the next question is how do we do that? So we're going to come back up to the gallery. I'm going to close the examples folder and now we're going to come down to the pages folder. Underneath the pages folder we're going to go to the lesson pages and then I'm going to find the appropriate template. So let's say category sort. Then I come down here and notice I've got the same category sort template in six different colors. That allows me to color coordinate my lessons. So I'm going to choose the green one. So I drag out that blank template and here it just says sort into categories. I could change the text here if I wanted to do have more instructions. I could change that. I've got my columns so I could change my columns here. Um, I want to do a two category sort so I'm going to change this to verb and then I'm going to change this to noun. So I've got an extra column here so I'm just going to click on this column and hit delete. I'm going to click on this line here, select it and hit delete. Drag this over drag this kind of more in the middle. So I'm going to make that look all nice and pretty. Now I'm going to drag out my labels. And so I like to do this where I stack them all in the end. So I'm going to drag out my labels and I don't necessarily want to do them in um, a perfect order because um, you'll see why a little bit later. So I'm going to drag these out kind of randomly. Okay. And then the very last one, I'm going to click on it, hit the infinite cloner button, and uninfinitely clone it so that it now it moves. So then what I can do is double click and edit the labels. So I'm gonna go through. Okay, so now I've got all my labels done. And so what I'm gonna do is stack all of my labels here at the bottom. And notice they're gonna stay in the order that I drug them out in the first place. So I'm just gonna drag them all there to the bottom and then I'm going to highlight them all. One thing I want to do is stack them all really pretty, so I'm going to come up here to my add-ons, and I've added the vertical and horizontal alignment guides, so that makes them all stack perfectly. So now when the students come in, they've got walk, and they're going to drag that up to verb, frog. Uh, so they're, they're just, and so I can have as many as I want stacked there. The students will never know how many there are. They just keep dragging them up to the right spot. Um, and that's how these page templates work. So you pretty much drag out the blank template, fill in your content, and you're ready to go. They're very, very quick. Now, the next thing I want to do if I want to save this template, let's say I really like this template, this strategy, I want to do it frequently. If I scroll up in my gallery, there's a folder called My Content. And what I can do is down here take this, this uh, page that I want to copy. I can just drag it up to this My Content page. And what happens is it puts it into that My Content page, so I don't have to go through and find it or search for it. It's just going to be right there, easy to find. So that is the basics of how to use the page templates in the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave us comments and tell us how much you like us. Thanks.